Hey y'all, it is Friday, June 7th in the evening, and I thought I would go ahead and give you a full garden tour. I think everything is in now, um, except for one spot. So let's see what we have. As it's evening, some things are closing up, some of the flowers, but I'm excited to show you what we've done here. Okay, when you first come into the garden, we have this pot of fennel here. I'm not sure if it'll stay there or not, but that's where it is for now. I put, if you can see, four little flowers here. Those are wallflowers at the start of the garden. We usually walk through here to get to the chickens, so um, I didn't want people stepping over this space because there's stuff planted here too. So I added those little flowers as a border. Here I started with um, parsnips and leeks by seed, but they didn't grow and I think it's been a month now since I did that. So I went ahead and I put onions here, I think. Um, I should probably know that, right? But then I noticed as I was um, doing the seeds for the onions that there are some little leaks or something coming up here. There's some there. Where were the other ones? Um, there were a few popping up somewhere. There's one. Uh, anyway, oh, here we go. So those, so I'm not sure. I think those are leeks. I'd have to look at my plan and see which. I did half and half leeks and parsnips. But anyway, so now onions will be coming up in that space. Uh, here we have beets, a lot of beets looking good. And then we have cabbage and I noticed this morning, I have a hole. And I don't know, I don't remember doing that myself. I don't know if something dug up my cabbage root and all or what. Um, so these are all cabbage. And then we have chard, which we'll be able to make salads with very soon, if not now. And then next to the chard is kale. And then we have a couple nasturtiums here, chamomile, and a couple more nasturtiums. These are green onions, and then green onions on the opposite side as well. Those were planted by seed. These were done, started indoors. Then we have cauliflower. So that one doesn't look too hot, but we have 10, I believe. Yeah, so 10 cauliflower here. And then we get into peppers. So we have three rows of jalapeno peppers. There's a flower in the back. And then we have four rows of bell peppers. Oh, maybe five rows. Um, flower in the back more onions here, regular onions. There are a few here that were started inside. Those were the only ones that made it. And then the rest uh, in these three square feet were uh, planted by seed. Over here we have corn looking good. We have a, we're gonna have a lot of corn. Um, I think it goes all the way from this corner. It's four square, uh, four foot that way all the way over here to where those flowers are over there. So all of this will be corn. Um, some of it you can see was, this was done inside, all of this that's big so far. These were started from seed, all that are coming up now. And then even more seeds were planted over there the other day. Here we have Brussels sprouts whole bunch of Brussels sprout plants and some slugs have uh, gotten a hold of my leaves. Um, we got some of the slugs off. Let's see, and then we have, I think here is where we switched to broccoli. 
So then all the rest of these are broccoli plants, a couple that aren't doing very well. I put some fish emulsion on them tonight um, and watered them well. Hopefully they come back. And then I have, of course, um, I don't know if you saw like nasturtiums in between all the way through this row. So these are all broccoli plants. And of course the fennel. Um, this, Unfortunately, this is not fennel that's going to create a bulb. I thought it was. Uh, I thought we'd actually have like fennel to eat, fennel bulbs to eat. But this is just going to uh, be fennel leaves, I guess. Over here, we start our tomatoes. So these are all uh, Grandpa's brown tomatoes. Seeds that he had saved from Germany, I believe. Um, yep, I talked about it in a previous video. So um, these weren't doing very well inside actually, and they've really come up since we got them outdoors. So I'm happy about that. And then I put basil and marigold um, alternating in between them. So we have a whole bunch of brown tomato plants and this is also a brown tomato plant. This is chamomile. Um, this tomato over here is a San Marzano, so it'll be a Roma tomato. I didn't have room for it on the other side, so I had to put it here. Nasturtiums looking good. More chamomile. I think I alternated chamomile and nasturtiums here in front of the cucumbers. So the cucumbers are here. Another chamomile. Um, some chamomile that are probably not going to make it. I waited way too long to plant those. And then this side, the, these are all peas. And we already have a bunch of peas that we need to harvest. Um, we harvested some, a few earlier just to see, and they didn't even last five minutes. Dan and Ezra ate them all. I did get to try one. See, I don't want to hurt the plant. Um, well, these look good. So, yeah, those are fun. Uh, so anyway, I put, let's see, what are these? Holy basil. I alternated holy basil and uh, seashell cosmos here. And then these going up the trellis are actually bush beans, so they really don't need a trellis, but um, I had it here for the peas and cucumbers, so I just let them climb up if they wanted. Dan said, it looked like I had some green beans. Oh yeah, look at this. How fun. And then we come to uh, San Marzano tomatoes and marigolds. Alternated with regular basil, sweet basil. Okay, we're trying out some different watering systems here. These are all cherry tomatoes. So I think we have seven of those. Um, and then marigolds in between. And then we start our summer squash. So I think this side is the yellow crookneck squash, and the other side are zucchini. So whole row of yellow squash and then whole row of zucchini. 
and some of them are already flowering. Um, male flowers. And then over here, I have more nasturtiums. I did so many flowers and I just had to find places for them. And then I did a wallflower in there. This bed has carrot seeds direct sown in it. Uh, this part of the bed anyway. We'll see what happens if it's if they if it's not too late for carrots. Uh, that is a uh, Phacelia flower, if I'm pronouncing that right. And then the whole rest of this bed is butternut squash with uh, some wallflowers and more phacelias alternating in between. Let's see, these here are, what are these? Pumpkins. So this whole row of this bed is pumpkin. And then the other row is filled with gourds. And then I have, uh, I think that's a seashell cosmo flower and nasturtiums alternated throughout. The Cosmos did a lot better than the Phacelia. I don't know why. And then I put more nasturtiums. My poor nasturtiums didn't have a lot of, didn't have enough space for a while. So some of them suffered. Um, some of them are coming back. We'll see about the rest. And then I have a couple wallflowers. Um, this space at the end of the pumpkins and gourds bed is empty. So I'm not sure what I'm doing there. If I'm gonna try more carrots or if I'll put my radishes there or if I'll pick a different seed that might still have enough time to grow. And then this bed is my wall of sunflowers in the back. I have a chamomile and a calendula. And then in front here, um, well, I'll we'll start back here. So all, the wall of sunflowers, and then I did uh, more sunflower seeds in front of and between each sunflower. So we'll have two rows of sunflowers and then this up here is a row of watermelons and then zinnias. And then we have another calendula and chamomile at this end. Somehow Ezra's sunflower is much larger than mine. Um, but we do have one that was beheaded and I don't know if it'll grow back or not. So I planted a seed next to it just in case. And then finally back here we have a couple zinnias and cantaloupes that are kind of small compared to everything else. Um, oh, and then wallflowers. So zinnias and wallflowers alternated with the cantaloupes. There are six, six or seven cantaloupe plants. And then over here, I bordered it with a couple more zinnia flowers. These are my Job's Tears. They are um, also known as corn beads. They're the plants that are going to um, make round beads. And then a couple more zinnias, and then this is just a uh, walking path continued from over there. Uh, this, these are more calendulas, which I'll be able to, um, now that they have flowers, I can harvest those and dry them. All right, so I think that's it. Um, of course, we have all the herbs that are on the porch and 
some herbs inside as well. And of course, all of our lovely ladies and gentlemen over there. We have now put all of our baby bard rocks in there too. We have an adult bard rock right here and we have teenage ones that are mid-sized and then we have the babies. In the babies there is one rooster. Those will be seven weeks old on Monday. There are 19 laying hens, eight teenagers, and 25 toddlers. <laughs> so we currently have 52 chickens out here. That is crazy. I think tomorrow we're going to extend their space because they need some fresh grass. Here is an update on Ezra's flower bed. And I realized that some of these flowers are too close together, that, that they need more space than this, but um, I wanted to allow him a single bed uh, with his stuff in it. You know, so it's not mixed in with mine. He can take ownership of it and really see how they do. I use this as an experiment to see how things do with a little less space. So his sunflower is just thriving. His zinnias are looking great. There was actually a flower on this one that we cut because these are cut and come again zinnias. And then, um, yeah, his wallflower is like looking like my wallflowers. Um, his calendula are not doing as well as mine, but, um, you know, they've gotten bigger. They're growing. His cosmos and phacelias look like mine. Uh, his nasturtium is actually coming back better than, um, when we planted it, I don't know if you remember what it looked like, but it was pretty sad. So, um, and then marigolds. His marigolds are doing pretty well. So, overall, he's so excited. Every day he comes out here and he says, Mama, look how big my sunflower is. And he loves it. So, I'm happy that we were able to do that together. All right, so that's the tour. I hope to do more. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything or any uh, helpful suggestions and I'll see you in the next tour.